Welcome back, Whippersnappers. This is Gramps. This is our third episode of Shapes 2. And when we left, we were building this out. We had this guy going, which was our last of our pinned tasks. Now, I did some digging around. I realized that these are the first... This is the first group of tasks that we got. If you scroll down, here's the next group. So we, we do have more tasks that we can do already. This is the uh, uh, milestone... Uh, what are we in? Milestone 2 tasks? Or no, milestone... Yeah, milestone 2 to get to milestone 3. So, uh, that is good to know. And we've still got 6 research points stashed up. I think I'm going to go ahead and buy some trash. I think we need we need a, a little trash can. And that cleans us out for a little bit. Those guys are still going along. Um, for some reason, this one is getting all backed up and this one isn't. Up. Well, this one's backed up on a little bit on the bottom. This one's backed up on the top. I don't know. It doesn't really matter because you know what? It just completed. So we're going to undo that. Excellent. We are good to go. So now that that is done, We've got our two X's there. Oh. Ah, at different zoom levels, you can select different things. I think when you're zoomed out here, you're actually selecting uh, a, like a whole platform. So these are uh, shape, um, the other shape miners. Uh, anyway, we'll get into those later. I'm certain. I also realize that down here, so boom, 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 when that's at zero, um, you can you can move your uh, view any way you want. When you click that to 90, it's going to lock down. You move it, and then it's going to lock to the nearest 90. So there's that. And then you've got 45, so again... It's going to lock to the nearest 45. And we've also got 30 and 15. I think I'm going to go... I'm going to go 45 for now. May change it. We don't know. All right. So let's get going on this bad Larry up here. We've got a um, basically a checkerboard circle and checkerboard square. And we need to marry those together. So I'm going to get that going. I'm just going to pull... Uh, forget it. Let's do them all. It doesn't matter. So this is our square. And what we want to do is cut those up. So if we do four of these, that's going to be our um, rate to ratio for a full belt. I think what I want to do is rotate. I'm going to rotate these separately. You can use the tab to switch between the two different varieties there. So these are all going to... Oops. These are all going to come out on the bottom. All right. And then we're going to cut them again. So this is a uh, full belt's worth, right? No, 45 per minute. And this is 90. Yeah, so that makes sense. It slows down on the cutter. I think what I'm going to do is just get them all mashed together here. Yeah, and you can see it's already totally backed up. Okay. So I'm going to disconnect it there. And I'm going to have half of them coming in here. One, two, three, four. Then, 
these ones I'm going to have up here. Oops. Nope. Control Z. Yay. Sometimes I forget that we have Control Z. And again, we're going to cut but now on the upper level, two, three, and four. Mm-hmm. Oh, got it. All right. Uh, we can't do that because you can't have a four-way intersection. So... All right. Um, hmm. Well, if this was all just one square down from here, I think we'd be much better. So you know what we can do? Is this. I'm going to cut. Cutty, cutty, cut. And that gets it going there. Okay, so now this uh, cutter, we can do this. One, two, three, four. All right, and then what I want to do, let's come back down here. All right, so I, I uh, am hiding the upper floors. Because what I want to do is have these come out right on top of each other. So, cutter is going to be there, there, and there. Okay. So those are stacked perfectly. Now let's get these coming in. All right. So I'm trying to make, uh, again, a little checkerboard pattern. I think what we can do is this. First, let me look over here. I think I'm going to buy that 180 rotator. Wait, do we need that? Yes, I'm going to buy the run 180 rotator. Okay, so now we've got this coming out here and then this. See, now those are checkerboard to each other, as are those. So I'm basically going to just checkerboard all the bottom ones. Okay, then let's go back up here. No, let's not. Let's go back down here. Oops. Okay. So stack. Boom, 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 boom. Excellent. And then, if I give these a uh, little, every other one of these a turn, just a little quarter turn, these are now all exactly the same. Okay. So, that makes that. Cool. Cool. Now watch this. I'm going to take that, I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to rotate it like so, and plonk it down. All right, get some extractors going. And look, that makes that. Now the question is, can I see these two are both oriented the same way? So that means they're going to conflict. 
but this one works. So instead of that, I'm going to rotate these ones. Okay. Now I've got a stacker. And it doesn't matter which way we stack it. If we stack these one, the squares on top of the circles, or the circles on top of the squares, it does not matter. And that's our shape. Excellent. Heading towards milestone three. Now let's take a look at this and see what our next milestone shape will be. It's going to be these two together, I guess. I don't know. So let's do a task. Um. This one looks good because this is a uh, just a circle on top of a square. Oh, but it's all chopped up. Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay, we can do that. If we take all right, we'll do this. So, squares on the bottom. If you do Shift R, it'll rotate back the other the counterclockwise way. Okay. So, what all of this does is it takes shapes and makes them into checkerboards. So I can do this. Like so. And that's going to turn all those into that. Exactly what I want. Then, if we go and we take a look at the next shape, that's two circles stacked on top of each other into that. So, that means right here I'm going to want to put in a, a circle stacker. And then after that, there's going to be three circles stacked on top of each other, right? So I want to kind of leave some room. I think I've already um, messed that up, <laughs> to be honest. That's OK. So that will be for the upper level. Oh, I'm going to, I need to uh, check that one. So these ones are annoying. Like this one, in theory, should be very easy. But it's not <laughs> because it is just removing one quadrant. Eventually, I think we're going to get a tool that will allow us to selectively remove a quadrant. And in this case, we could remove a quadrant and then stack it with another quadrant, right? Remove one quadrant of a circle and pop in a uh, square. All 
right? We just got that one. Okay. Okay, so now we want to take <clears throat> this same shape that we've created and just put it on top of a square. We've got squares over here. So I'm just going to kibosh that. And now let's get some... these guys coming in and we'll have those on the bottom these guys are gonna come over here So that's going to get those 640 done. Then, in the meantime, we also could use one of these guys. Just making these to feed in there as well. Ah, you're good to go. I'm just going to reroute these for now. I think that works, right? Yes. Although, if, if that's going to starve this over here, then uh, then that's not good. So if that's the case, I'll just make another one of these and have it pull off of these guys. Let's do it. Since there's no no cost, and we don't need them to be in any sort of uh, particular position, so I'm going to not worry about that. And here. Feed those into there. There we go. Now you can see that it's rotating here. That's because we're feeding in both different um, orientations, and that is perfectly fine. This little dude is done. Okay, so now we want the two circles stacked. Oh my goodness, we are running out of room, aren't we? I'm going to change this. I'm going to cut it and put it over here. Yeah, circles. Okay. All right. So that's going to handle that. We don't need you. Okay. So I'm gonna cut those off. And two, three, one, two, three. should start making that, which we should see here. Yep. Good. Okay. These are cruising along. We're up to a whopping 18 of those guys, but I think we'll start catching up here pretty soon. There we go. Okay. Let's take a look at this. So this one's annoying. 
This one's annoying because I know there's a tool that will let us do it easier. <laughs> so that's why it's annoying to me. <clears throat> okay, so let's do this. Let's do one, two, three, four. Then, all right, I know what we're going to do. We're going to give this a turn. Let me see. I don't think that's right, though. Nope. Okay, so let's instead, we'll give this a turn. And then we are going to destroy half. Actually, we're going to remove those. And then we'll just do these. You can mirror these too, so um, you can have them. That might be helpful for some space needs. All right, that's well, not going to be super fast, but that's okay. We can get it going in the meantime. Why are these guys not doing what we want? Oh my goodness. There's still so many that are built up. Okay, so here's what you can do if you just need to clear clear the pipes out. Cut and paste. And it should be still some... Why is it making some that are still single stack. Is it really? Yeah, I think some of these are just older things that haven't worked through the system yet. So, all right, we got rid of most of them now. This one should be correct. Yes, these are all correct. Okay. Yes, yeah, so and now there's two of them. Okay. be next for our little milestone. Ah, we finished those guys. Okay, so next it's going to be this one. Ah, which is going to be tricky. That's... got it. Okay, so what that one is, that's going to be this shape on top of this shape. Um, is it... See. Uh, so the circle parts are on top of the square parts, though. And right now we've got squares um, top left and right. These are. Um, oh, these are both. Okay, so we just need to orient those to be this way. So we're going to do a half turn on every other one. Excellent. All right, we had another beep. What was the other beep for? I didn't know. Oh my goodness. Barky Palooza. Okay, so these guys, though, eventually, we're gonna just route them here. Six.
Oh, that's it. Okay. And that looks like the shape we want. Right? It's turned the wrong way, but that doesn't matter. Double check with this guy going in. Mm-hmm. Alright, so that's going to start cranking. Get 960 of those going. In the meantime, we're almost done with this guy. And then we're going to want to just double that up. We could start on this too. And then this, like I said, we're going to need a triple stack. Yeah, I think that's all good. What I'm going to do is I'll just have these feed onto another row of of circles. Okay, this one has completed. Now it just wants it doubled up on top of itself, so... This is slow. <laughs> this is not a great build. So let's take that. do that much and double it up. Let's see if that works better. Then after that it's going to be oh, that's gonna be very different. Okay. As long as we're working on the milestone one, and the milestone one, that's a pretty full belt, so we're good to go there. Again, could come in, double up all that stuff. What is happening here? Are you going to make me count? I don't want to have to count. I think it just it gets slowed down in here, so that kind of backs things up. Okay, that said, none of this is needed. So what we can do is this. It's going to be this guy here. Excellent. Okay. And that one's done now. Well, gang, I think we're cruising along. We are uh, working our way through this milestone, and we're pretty much going to be done with milestone three, which is going to get us out of the... Um, yeah, now we're going to have space platforms, all that stuff. That's going to be great. So now that we're out of the... So now that we're out of the operator certification, we're going to be dropping down to three episodes a week. We're going to be on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So uh, please, if you're enjoying this, subscribe so you know when the latest ones are coming out. Toss me a like if you don't mind. It's super helpful. And... We will keep it going. I'm looking forward to getting out into space and the space platforms. Should be a lot of fun.
So thank you so much. This is Gramps, signing off.